Hello everyone and welcome back to another Stormax Search and Destroy Weapons DLC video. Now in this video we have two amazing creations to check out. The first one is going to be a combat mech. Yes, that's right. This is a walking mech that has got weapons on it. Really, really cool. Along with that, we're also going to be checking out this uh, self-targeting artillery gun, which sounds even cooler. Um, so I'm very interested to check out both of these creations. So let's start by having a look at the mech. I think this is probably the funnest thing to have a look at. So you can see this is really quite actually compact. We've got some legs. It seems like it's kind of really like crouching. Along with that, we've got two light autocannons on either side. Very interesting. Let's go around to the back. So at the back here, we've got some propellers. So this thing can go in the water. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Uh, what's this? Okay, so this looks like a little engine room. We've got a battery in here, and we can also do recharging if you want to. So you can have a few of these mechs maybe on your ship or something. Uh, interesting. Okay, let's also go up here. So to go up, I guess we can press the handle and then F on the ladder, possibly. Yes, maybe. Possibly not. That's out, open. Okay, I don't want to open something. F on the ladder. There we go. So now we go up, and here is the hatch to go in. So in we go. And what do we have inside here? So it looks like we've got a bunch of equipment. We've got some weapons, SMGs. Ooh, nice. Okay, what else do we have? Let's close the hatch off. And again, the seat. So we've got a exterior lights. We've got interior lights. Uh, I think we need power on first. There we go. All right, we've also got throttle lever. Got a little map screen, weather screen, and then our... Oh, that's pretty cool. Our little gimbal camera in front of us. So this is completely mouse controlled. Interesting. And then we can, what do we have? So we can go and crouch, which is two. Oh, okay. We can also jump, which is three. <laughs> All right, uh, night vision and we can aim and fire. So one is to aim. All right, okay, so you can aim there. So you can see that I can go left and right. Uh, we can also zoom in and zoom out so that's up and down like so and possibly let's go and turn left here there we go and we can go and aim at this little tank here and fire so it looks like there is a little bit of recoil issue <laughs> that's fine i mean you can probably deal with it oh very nice <laughs> Let's go to third person. Can you control in third person? I mean, you probably could. It's not easy, though, with targeting. Probably better if you do it in first person. It is quite sensitive on the aiming, though. Let's try and get the left cannon to shoot. Yeah, we're out of ammo now, unfortunately. All right, uh, let's take it out of shooting mode, and let's see how well this thing actually works. So to go forwards, all right, so like that, and then you can use the throttle lever. So that's walking speed, apparently. And then we can also go and, no, this is running speed. Oh, can you see how it's gotten faster? Interesting. <laughs> this is awesome. I would maybe like to see those auto cannons replaced with some type of like battle cannon. Can you imagine that? That would be super epic. But I think the ammo would be the next issue. This is really cool. <laughs> really, really fun to play with. And this thing can swim too. All right, so enough with that. Let's go and turn this thing off. So we're going to power safety, turn this thing off, let it shut down, and there we go. It's now completely shut down. Let's check out this next thing, which is the self-targeting artillery gun. Uh, obviously a huge gun at that with a bunch of ammo inside it. I'm guessing this is just a placeholder as an example for you guys to test it out, but the magic happens over here at the back. Now, this thing can be guided using two different ways. Apparently, you can use either GPS coordinates. You can also find GPS coordinates using radio frequencies. Very interesting there and then lastly you can also go and uh, use the radar here to find targets so we're going to test out uh, the two things and see how well it works so as you can see here a bunch of different settings and things let's test out the gps mode first so we can go on our map here we can enter in a random gps location uh, i mean let's go and target down here for example we do need to worry about mountains and things but let's enter that in the gun should be lifting up. It's doing all its ballistics and all that kind of stuff. And in theory, we should be able to just click on fire. And it's going and firing a range around down range. And there it goes. Hi. I mean, let's go down there and let's go and see that round. We'll wait for another one to be shot off. And it should be going somewhere around there. Now, that might be a little bit far for it. But if it gets anywhere close, I'll be impressed. Okay, so there it gets shot. There it goes. Off it goes to my left, 
down, 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 down. Okay, and it hit just way before. So that's fine. You can know you can always go back to it and adjust it ever so slightly because it needs to account for elevation and so forth. So I mean, we can go and home in on that, elevate this up a bit, wait for another round to be shut off. And I mean, that should, not this round, maybe the next one, uh, should go and hit its target quite well. So let's wait for that to reload again. Watch the round. We can't, we can't even see it. You can just see it over there in the corner. Should be firing any second now. There it goes. Now we have tilted it ever so slightly. Oh, look at that. Almost 100% on top. Now that's cool. That is really cool. That is so cool. Oh, man, that's nice. All right, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Okay, so we're going to stop firing the gun. I mean, let's go and put the tilt back to zero. And instead of using the GPS coordinates, we're now going to use the radar. Now, you can already see it's found some targets on its screen. And we don't even need to do anything. So, I mean, let's try and fire off at 105. So to do that, apparently, we can just select 105 here. Hit target. I mean, we need to do target acquisition radar. And then target two. Okay. So now, once that's done that, we can enter in this which should now be aiming at that location. I mean, let's go and check. It looks like it's pretty much on that point. Uh, let's get the GPS waypoint away, just in case. And I mean, let's go and fire. <laughs> wow. I mean, the tank is still there. Uh, we could always adjust it, I guess, a little bit. Let's go and have a look at that again. So it's gonna fire another round any second. Come on. Oh, that was a little bit too high. It's still impressive, isn't it? Oh, man. Yeah, that must have been a dead on hit. Yep, it's gone. And that target should be gone now. We can unfire it. I mean, we can fire another target. So let's do 104. And you can see the other targets disappear now. And let's track that target. There we go. It's not tracking that target. We can click on fire <laughs> and there it goes and the target's gone wow okay um hmm. let's go and get the new target. let's track that new target there we go it's now going and aiming at that target shouldn't really have to do anything it should just fire come on okay that's quite high i think i've adjusted it yeah i still have my adjustment on it okay let's take the adjustment off i mean that's probably very close i mean we can adjust it down a bit Give it a fair chance. Come on, fire. Are we out of rounds already? Maybe this is the last round. Come on. There we go, that was the last round, I think. But that's it. Man, this is fun. Guys, I definitely recommend you go and play with this. I mean, we've just done a very quick testing. And the other thing is you can also get a GPS location from radio, which is quite interesting too. But yeah, man, this is really cool. I love the idea and the concept behind it. Really, really cool really nice so guys uh if you want to go check out any of the creations that we had a look at an episode whether it's the mech uh or you want to check out this cool ballistics artillery gps self-targeting thing definitely go check it out i will leave the links in the video description as always uh and if you have enjoyed my videos smash the like button hit the subscribe button and until the next one we will see you then